change things for the better. Together. <laughs> the new drama, SWAT. CBS Tonight, her stream of live or on demand. That same grandmother was in court today, and she won her bid to have her bond reduced. Donna Rossi is in our newsroom with details. Another chapter in this story, Donna. Bond had already been reduced for two of the three co-defendants in this case, and those two are already out of jail. Today, it was Cassandra Jones' turn to try to get released pending the conclusion of the charges against her. This surveillance video taken at Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport in September shows police arresting Roland and Cassandra Jones as they tried to board a plane and leave the state. Miss Yusko Jones poses a flight risk. That attempt to flee became part of the state's argument today against lowering Cassandra Jones's bond, possibly allowing her to get out of jail. If you are considering... She really can't eat anything. She's lost over 25 pounds. Uh, she's... Uh, really in need of nutrition, nutrients, obviously that causes concerns with my ability to talk to her. Jones and her husband are accused of staging the disappearance of their daughter Madeline and grandson William to avoid sharing custody of the boy with Madeline's ex-husband. The couple then falsely reported the pair missing to police. Madeline and her baby were located in California some four months later. The baby has been reunited with his father, Jacob Gochnauer, whose attorney read a lengthy statement in court today, also objecting to the lowering of Jones's bond. I am petrified that once Cassandra is out, she will be able to convince Madeline to once again kidnap my son and lie about what has already happened. In the end, the judge did reduce bond for Jones from $50,000 to $5,000 cash. If that is posted, she will have to wear an ankle monitor and have no contact with the victims or the co-defendants, which, of course, are her husband and daughter. Reporting live in the newsroom, Donna Rossi for Arizona's Family. Okay, Donna, thank you. With GOP Senate candidate Roy Moore refusing to step aside after sexual harassment claims against him. Some new allegations tonight against Democratic Senator Al Franken. Hear from his accuser and Franken's...